I'm Schnapps and I'm reviewing Joe X Noel. I can't pronounce the name as you can tell. But it means Merry Christmas and this title is in French. Is in yeah. So this this is a foreign film. It was um nominated for Best Foreign Film in in like there's a lot of good compliments to this movie. I would say it's excellent and beautiful. Two thumbs up. Um this movie is about what happened hundred years ago from when this video was made and slash uploaded or slash or uploaded a hundred years ago men were fighting in a all out war no one has seen it seen it at that large of a scale before so they fought they thought it was going to be just them on like a hunting trip and they would be home by Christmas and it would be victorious since war was thought to be victorious back then but in reality you all know they were in a stalemate for the longest times and they couldn't get out of it so by Christmas time and spirits were low both sides of the trenches and got out and celebrated Christmas Eve and Christmas. They, on Christmas Day, they got out and played football slash soccer, or however you want to go as. Since this is a foreign film, this one problem, it's in the subtitles but there's a version a French version and an English version if you click the English version there's some English in it and subtitles but not everyone's dub which I, I like subtitles I can read them I can stand them but not many people can stand them like People that like foreign films and TV can easily handle this, or anyone that can put up with them. So, that was the only problem with this movie. Um, the acting is great. I got so used to the subtitles that I thought they were actually all speaking English. Um, powerful movie since well, well let's go on to that later the music was good I loved it the acting was good it's not that many action scenes but was not all about action and stuff and it's a pretty powerful film it's great Um, it's 116 minutes, so it you, it's standable. The first act up to Christmas Eve is a little slow and well, it's a little more fast-paced than slow, but it's not that great until Christmas Eve came. So anyways, it's a powerful film since these guys, um, the French and the English slash Scot Scottish were fighting the Germans. I'm not sure if you can see this, but they were in a battle. All the friends were dying because of each other's. Then one night, Christmas Eve, they got out of the trenches. Drank some drinks, champagne with each other, talked, 
shared photos, told about tales and stuff. It's a pretty powerful film because of goodwill of men. I, I I can't really put it in words, but it just enemies came out, shook hands, and became friends. The next day they played soccer, talked more, buried the dead, had services for the dead. And then, so all the men loved each other. And then, they, when they went back to war on December 26th, they couldn't because they were so attached to each other. And, um, they just couldn't. Then the officers heard about this, separated it, but separated them. But the spirits were still together, and so they were all joyous. And this hap this is just didn't happen in one area, in the whole lines of trenches. It happened in several places or two thirds. I'm not sure how much, but everyone was just happy because at that time they thought it would be home. Celebrating with the family, but they celebrating with the enemy. It shows that you should make peace and not war. I felt emotion, emotional to this film. It, it's a pretty beautiful film. I would recommend it to anyone who wants to see it. Any history buffs. Romance, drama, buff, and yeah. There's some subplots in this film, but it's not that many. Well, actually, there's just like one main subplot, but I don't know. No. This is based off a true story. I'm not sure if these guys are actual people, but I know that it was a Christmas truce, and it's a beautiful film. They, when they met together, they didn't argue why you shot my friend and stuff. They just got up and Forget about the brutalities that they faced. I'm reading off the back by my own words. Um. Yeah. It, it's pretty good. I probably. Yeah, I I watched it twice. So it, it's pretty. Good. I would recommend it to anyone, like I said, so if you haven't checked this out, go ahead. This, hap th this movie wasn't a hundred years ago, it was nine years ago, but the actual event, hundred years ago, and it, it, it brought a smile to my face because I was pretty depressed lately because of the stuff on the news, so... It brought joy back into me, and I just love this film. It's probably my top ten, along with All Cry on the Western Front, King Kong, The Wizard of Oz. So, yeah. And this shoot was not official; it was unofficial. So that makes it. it, it it's true that. Men just got out of out of the trench, shook hands, became friends, and yeah, it, it's a beautiful film. I would recommend it, but if you're not into subtitles or can't stand them or tolerate them, then it might not be for you. But 
prom I, I promise you that you will will like it. So yeah. Um it is uh like some critics, I'm not sure if you can see it, but some say it's a true, powerful film, a movie, and yeah, and these guys, these countries will, well, the Germans and the, not Germans, the central powers and the allies were in the really great struggle and there is nationalism in here. It shows it because of the time when the movie takes place. But it just shows that men can, when they come together, become friends, and their numbers can halt a war to stop. And yeah, it's truly beautiful, and you won't regret it. And yeah, that's about it. And